The distinction between houses and apartments is deeply ingrained in our society. Somehow, our whole perception of housing is structured by this division. And this is reinforced by property websites, by the house building industry, and by our development plans and standards. In some areas, this distinction is so pronounced that it becomes almost like a form of apartheid, a sharp social distinction between the ground dwellers and the sky dwellers, or in a Dublin Irish context, between the ground dwellers and the ever so slightly off the ground dwellers. The reason I think this distinction is so problematic is that it makes it very difficult to explore new forms of housing that are neither houses nor apartments, that are perhaps hybrids or combinations of the two. As a nation and a city where we have a kind of uh, common form of vertigo, I think we are in dire need of new forms of low-rise, high-density housing. Housing that densely occupies the ground of the city. Yet somehow our residential guidelines and development plans constantly reinforce the distinction and make it very difficult to explore these new types. We have one set of standards for houses and an entirely separate set of standards for apartments, as though households living in an apartment somehow have completely different requirements for space, for privacy, for private open space than a household living in a house. So if we had one very good and very adequate set of standards for dwellings, suddenly that opens up a whole series of possibilities for exploring new types of housing. So I am advocating a search for housing that are like apartment blocks on their sides, or our dense networks of courtyard houses, or our very tightly grained terraced houses. Housing that allows people to occupy the ground of the city to have their own front door, but still is sufficiently dense to generate community um, and a sense of the, the, the life of the street. So there are lots of examples in London, for instance, from the 60s and 70s, um, but somehow this firm, ingrained distinction between the house and the apartment has held us back from finding these forms. Thank you.